Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley, and today I'm doing a review slash reaction video to the new It movie that just came out on the 8th. And I didn't want to see it in theaters because, at least not opening weekend, I did want to see it in theaters because it looked amazing. But I don't like going to theaters, especially on opening weekends, and really especially for like huge movies like this was going to be. Because I don't know if your guys' movie theaters are like this, but they have small theaters, like smaller theaters for like movies that are supposed to have been there for a while, and then they have the bigger theaters for like the movies that just came out. Now, I was anticipating on being in a bigger theater because it has been, I mean, I've heard everybody talking about it. People who don't even like scary movies, I've heard talk about this. So you knew it was going to be a huge launch, so you got put in a small theater. And it was packed! It was packed. We ended up sitting in the third row from the very front. So we, like, our necks was like this the whole time, and I went with my boyfriend and our friend. But despite that, that was just that part, and the people were quiet during the movie, and that was most important for me. But the movie was amazing. So getting into it, there's going to be no spoilers, by the way, because hopefully you're watching this to see if you want to go see it, or if you're just going to compare opinions, that's cool. We're all entitled to our own opinion if you think it's great or you think it sucked. That's fine. But in the first five minutes, you see everything you saw in the previews on Facebook, on TV, or anything else. Have you ever seen a preview of the movie? You see all that in like the first five minutes. So I was like, well, the reviews say this movie is really good, but I'm seeing everything that's been advertised. Except for like a few moments with it, obviously, with Pennywise. But it... I was really disappointed like the first time I was like great I'm just gonna fall asleep the rest of this movie but I was wrong and I will be the first to admit that but I was completely wrong and this movie is literally fantastic and there is just the right amount of like humor to go with it because the kid from Stranger Things who I cannot remember his name right now stole the show in my opinion he is my favorite in that movie he was hilarious and it was just great and I think the casting was perfect like I read the book of it like forever ago and honestly I was really young so I probably skipped through half of it because what 10 year old 11 year old or whatever wants to read 1200 pages and no offense but the book was kind of like slow to get into so I, I probably skipped through it or I just don't remember it because I do remember some parts but I don't remember everything but yeah and I did see the original movie it and that's great Oh, let me let my cat in, excuse me. Come on. Thank you. Now we can have both animals in here. We have Ripley and Petey. And so I lost my train of thought. <laughs> you cannot start. Anyways, so I saw the original movie, and that was good. Comparing Pennywise the Clown, I... Mm, I like the modern version. If I'm thinking of which one's... Ooh, that's really hard, though. I'm thinking of, like, which one I would probably see in my personal nightmares more than the other, and I would think the original Pennywise is, like, just creepier, but it could be because, like, I don't know. I mean, this penny, I mean, either way, if the clown's come chasing after me and trying to kill me, I'm going to be terrified. That's just how it is. But in real life, I'm not, like, scared of clowns. Um, and this movie was scary. Like, there was, and I, that, that's where I was at. Sorry. The kid from Stranger Things was hilarious. There was just the right amount of humor, and he was just, like, the comedy relief, and it was great. And there was, like, a little, little, little bit of sadness also because of Georgie and, uh, you know, Bill, their relationship, everything. That made me sad, like it will, for most people, I hope. And obviously there's scary bits, but it was, I mean, people are mad because a lot of it's like jump scares, but I personally don't mind that because the only way to really scare me, because I, I am easily scareable as well, FYI, but jump scares, like you're not going to scare me, okay, honestly I'm scared of everything, I was going to be a lie, but 
that people are mad because there's jump scares. I mean, there's the music that, like, leads you up to that. But I personally appreciate that because I'm somebody who I need to hold someone's hand. Or, you know, that's me that I just, like, have something to hold on to. But a lot of people don't like that. And that's their opinion. And that's fine. But for somebody like me who likes having somebody there who likes a little bit of warning before, you know, you get a heart attack. You know, I appreciate that. So you hear the music go up and, you know, I'm prepared. I'm set. And even sometimes it doesn't even happen. Which, of course, I'm just like, well, I just wasted my time reaching over to my left right now. But the, like I said, the casting was phenomenal. I wouldn't change the casting at all. Everybody was great. And I mean, Bev Marsh, Beverly Marsh's character, I thought was phenomenal. I thought she was so good. Um, she was really good. And Bill's character was really good. But I think, honestly, Richie's character and then Bev Marsh's character, they are my top two faves, stole the show. And also, like, the personalities in the actual movie themselves, which also helps. But they really did stole the show with their performances, in my opinion. My non-professional opinion. And, sorry, my animals are being obnoxious right now. But I'm trying to think of like what else to say. I I mean, my favorite type of scary movies are ones that you get jump scared at. I'm still scared of like other... And, okay, I'm going off track because this is how I talk and this is how I think. The director from this movie was from Mama. And personally, I wasn't a fan of Mama. Did it creep me out? Yes. It's not hard to creep me out. I get scared easily. So for something to creep me out, it's not a big deal. If it doesn't, you know it's really bad. But Mama, it did creep me out. But it wasn't great. And if it's one of your favorite movies, I'm sorry. But I, I personally didn't like the idea. I thought I was like, oh, okay, she's just sad because she's never... I'm not going to ruin it if you've never seen the movie. If you haven't seen Mama, I mean, I'd watch it just to say you watched it. But it's really not great. And in my opinion, you might really like it. But anyway, so I wasn't like super excited or wasn't expecting a lot from for this movie from that director. But, like I said, I was wrong. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I'm the type of person, like, my favorite scary movies are um, The Strangers and The Conjuring. Those are my top two. I really like um, Sinister. Like, those are my top three scary movies that will always creep me out. Like, always, always, always. And, I mean, and for my favorite classic, I am repping a J Freddy vs. Jason shirt right now. Freddy is my man. And that's pretty much because of his personality. I love sarcasm sarcastic personality is dark humor that's why I really like him but yeah I mean this is probably in one of my top fives and it's not because it was scary because like I said there was like scary parts there was but it was just so cleverly done and it was just like as soon as the movie started like okay like when's this gonna end it's like something would happen and it just made it so much better like it just like it just was constantly going and you had your time to like rela relax, like take a chill pill and like whatever. And then like something would happen and it gets you back interested again. And the movie was only two hours and 15 minutes, but it did not feel that way. It felt like it was maybe an hour. I don't know, but it went by super fast. It was super entertaining. I could not recommend this movie enough. And, and I'm and like I said, I don't even like going to movie theaters. I usually only go for scary movies because I'm that's the type of movies I like the most is horror movies. But even so, I'm cheap. I am a cheap person. I don't want to pay nine dollars to go see a movie when if I wait a few weeks, I can find it online cheaper, you know, or for free. That's what I should say. I can find it online for free. So it takes, and honestly, my boyfriend did convince me because I wanted to wait until. I we could see it during the week for matinee and get it for like three or four bucks. <laughs> like that's what I wanted to wait for. But no, you know, he his favorite this is one of his favorite like horror movies, so I'm glad he drugged me along and made me go. Um, so like I said, guys, if you have not seen this movie, I hot like ten out of ten recommend five stars or ten stars, however you want, like however your star system goes in your head, all the stars, all the stars, gold shiny stars. It's so good. And I mean, if you're terrified of clowns, it's your choice. 
if you're terrified of teeth, this is your choice. And it's just so good. I just, I wish, we literally, Saturday night, we didn't get home until close to midnight. We could not stop talking about it. We were up until like 2 in the morning just like, wow. And we were going to see it again yesterday, aka Sunday. We were like, well, let's just go see it again. And me being the voice of reason again because I'm cheap, guys. I was like, well, why don't we wait a little bit? Because, but I didn't even say no, because if someone else was going to pay for me, because someone else was, I mean, I would totally see it. But like I said, I'm just cheap, guys. I'm broke. But if you like the original version, and this is what, this is what I personally like in remade movies. Like, this is why I don't really like remade movies. I want to love them so bad, like with classics and stuff. But this one just did it right. Like, it revamped the original. Like, you get the original characters, you get the original concepts, the original lines. But made them so much better. And then it added, like, good. It added good things to the movie to make it better. Like, it didn't take away anything bad, in my opinion. And it added relevant things to make it more interesting for the viewer. So, like I said, movie 10 out of 10. Casting, 10 out of 10. Music choices, 10 out of 10, like, worth the money, 10 out of 10. I love this movie, and it's the best horror movie I've seen. I can't remember what came out last, The Conjuring or Sinister, but honestly, and then there might have been one other one that was good last year, but I can't even remember the last, like, this is a really good one, a really good one. And if you've been waiting for, like, a good horror movie to come out and, like, keep you interested, not necessarily scare, you know scare you to death, but keep you interested and get, like, makes you think, like, I don't know. I really liked it. It, made, it kept my mind going. And like I said, it made me laugh. It made me tear up a little bit because I'm emotional. I'm a woman. But it just scared me. And it was great. It was great. I highly recommend, guys. And if you sat through this entire video watching a nobody give a professional rating on a fantastic movie, thanks so much for watching. And for a future, like, I'm going to be doing, like, reviews, unboxings, hauls. Like, I'm going to be doing everything because I like doing everything and that's what I want to do. So, subscribe and like this video. Let me know if you want to review any videos or games or anything like that. Like, my, I know we're going to be getting the new Call of Duty, so I'm anticipating on doing that. For me, who is not good at it, and then for Shane, my boyfriend, who is actually good at it, for both of our opinions on it. But, yeah, until next time, I don't know what's going to be next. This is Miss Ripley from Alien, if anybody, you know, is a horror movie fanatic or anything like that. So, like I said a million times, thanks so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to this video. Let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future, like review-wise. Want me to try anything? And she's knocking down my setup. Just let me know. I will hopefully see you soon. I know I will. And like I said a million times, I'm sorry I'm a talker. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Third time's a charm. Peace out, guys.